Key dealers are reducing their pump rates of fuel even as the local currency fails to gain value against the dollar. Uh, assuming the shilling uh, appreciated, the plots continued to actually drop, obviously we'll see the price adjusted in the market uh, uh, a little bit further. But at the moment we've moved prices by about um, 70 to 100 shillings in some places and that's in line with the cost of actually bringing the product to, to the customers. Vivo Energy, for example, says that current drop in the international oil prices from approximately $100 down to $80 per barrel is partly responsible for this move. They've been coming down for the last uh, couple of months. Um, when it comes to specifically Uganda, there are a number of factors that actually affect our pricing. One is the world market. Two is obviously the logistics of getting it here. Three is obviously we do business in Uganda shillings. We buy most of this fuel. It's imported in dollars. So there's also the factor of uh, the strength of the shilling. So those are the factors that affect uh, prices. Beyond erratic prices in the global unit of crude, a wide range of factors and common depreciation of the shilling often affect palm prices locally. So for Vivo Energy demand through our shell outlets, okay, we can now hold the stock for about uh, 27 days. Um, obviously, that is assuming that all things are equal. If we're the only ones to be having product, it will not be 22 days because obviously then we'll have an influx of people coming to our stations. Uganda's daily consumption of fuel is estimated in the range of half a million liters, but with instances of shortage often falling in the way of palm prices. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.